How honey is made in factory? Honey factory process. Have you ever wondered how honey is made? It's not just a sweet treat you enjoy on toast. There's a fascinating journey behind every jar of honey, starting with the hardworking bees in their hive. Today, we're going to explore the whole process of how honey is made, from the flowers to the jar on your breakfast table. Bees and their hive. Honey production begins with the bees. If you think about it, bees are the true heroes behind every drop of honey. Let's take a closer look at the structure of the hive and the roles of the different types of bees that live there. Inside a hive, there are three main types of bees, the queen bee, the worker bees, and the drones. The queen bee is the most important bee in the hive. She is the only female bee capable of laying eggs, and her job is to ensure the survival of the hive. Without her, the hive wouldn't exist for long. Next, we have the worker bees. These are the females, and they do most of the work. Their jobs include gathering nectar, cleaning the hive, feeding the young bees, and even protecting the hive. The worker bees are the ones that venture out into the world to find flowers and collect nectar, which they later turn into honey. Lastly, we have the drones. These are the male bees, and they don't have many responsibilities except one, mating with the queen. Once their job is done, drones don't live long in the hive. Nectar Collection now let's focus on the worker bees who are responsible for collecting nectar. These hard-working bees fly from flower to flower, gathering nectar using their long tongues called proboscis. The proboscis works like a straw, allowing the bee to suck nectar from the flowers. As the bees gather nectar, they also collect pollen. This pollen sticks to their bodies, and when they visit other flowers, they transfer the pollen, which helps with pollination. This process is incredibly important because it helps plants reproduce, grow fruits, and produce seeds. It's a natural cycle that's essential for the health of our environment and food systems. Bees don't just randomly choose which flowers to visit. They are attracted to bright, colorful flowers with a good scent and plenty of nectar. They use their excellent sense of smell to find the best flowers. Once a worker bee finds a good source of nectar, it fills its honey stomach with nectar and heads back to the hive. But how does the bee tell the other bees where to find the flowers? Here's where it gets interesting. The bees communicate through something called the waggle dance. This is a special dance where the bee wiggles its body in a certain pattern to show the other bees the direction and distance to the flowers. It's like giving directions, but with a dance. Other bees follow these instructions and go out to collect nectar from the same flowers. Turning nectar into honey. Once the worker bees have gathered enough nectar, it's time to head back to the hive. But the nectar still isn't honey yet. The magic happens when the nectar enters the hive. Back at the hive, the worker bees regurgitate the nectar from their honey stomachs into the honeycomb cells. Yes, that's right, they regurgitate it. But don't worry, they are not just spitting it out. The nectar is mixed with special enzymes that help break down the sugars in the nectar. These enzymes turn the complex sugars into simpler sugars, like glucose and fructose, which makes the nectar easier for the bees to digest and preserves it. Now comes a crucial part of the process. The bees need to reduce the moisture in the nectar to make honey. To do this, the worker bees fan their wings to create airflow, which helps the moisture in the nectar evaporate. This is what makes the nectar thicken and turn into honey. It's like drying out the nectar, so it gets sticky and thicker. Once the moisture level in the nectar reaches about 18%, the nectar becomes honey. 
It's now ready to be stored in the honeycomb cells. The bees then seal the honeycomb cells with beeswax, which keeps the honey safe from moisture, dirt, or any contaminants. The temperature inside the hive is also very important during this process. The bees work hard to maintain a temperature of around 95 degrees Fahrenheit, 35 degrees Celsius. This warm environment helps speed up the evaporation process and ensures that the honey turns out just right. Beekeepers and Harvesting Honey Once the bees have completed their part of the process, it's time for beekeepers to step in and harvest the honey. Beekeepers work closely with the bees to make sure that the honey is collected without disturbing the bees too much. The first step in harvesting honey is to calm the bees. Beekeepers use smoke to calm the bees and make them less likely to sting. Once the bees are calm, the beekeeper carefully removes the honeycomb from the hive. These honeycombs are full of the honey the bees worked so hard to create. The beekeeper then takes the honeycomb to a special machine called a honey extractor. This machine uses centrifugal force to spin the honeycomb. As the honeycomb spins, the honey is forced out of the cells and collects at the bottom. Beekeepers then strain the honey to remove any bits of beeswax, bee parts, or debris that might have gotten into the honey during the extraction process. This ensures that the honey is smooth and clean. Packaging and Distribution after the honey is filtered and cleaned, it's time for the final steps, packaging and distribution. Beekeepers carefully pour the honey into jars or bottles, making sure the jars are sealed properly to maintain the honey's freshness. Before sealing the jars, the beekeeper may label them with important details like where the honey came from, the type of flowers the bees visited, and the beekeeper's name. This helps people know exactly where their honey comes from and gives them more information about its unique qualities. Once the honey is packaged, it's ready for distribution. Some beekeepers sell their honey locally at farmers markets. Others may sell their honey to stores or even ship it internationally, so people around the world can enjoy the sweetness produced by their bees. The final journey after all the hard work by the bees and the careful attention of the beekeepers, honey is finally ready to be enjoyed. When you buy honey, you're not just buying a sweet treat, you're also getting a product of teamwork between nature and humans. The bees do their part, and the beekeepers help bring the honey to the world. So, next time you enjoy honey in your tea, on your toast, or in a recipe, take a moment to appreciate the incredible process behind it. From the bees flying from flower to flower to the careful work of beekeepers, the journey from nectar to honey is truly amazing.